Hey guys, so quick progress little update thing. Um, I'm nearing 1,000 total, and I just finished Farm Run. But I also got, I have done, um, I believe, three medium clues now, and this is my fourth, or it's my third, I can't quite remember. But I have the casket from a medium clue here, so um, I'm going to try something a bit odd. I don't know if anyone's ever done this, but I'm going to try to alk a casket from a clue, because um, I don't know if anyone has ever done this before. And apparently you can alk a casket from a clue for 20 GP. So, yes, I, yeah, that was not worth it at all. But uh, anyway, that's all for this little progress thing. I'm going to finish my Slayer task, hopefully get another casket and actually open it this time. And if I do get another casket, um, I will show you guys. But uh, I did get this item, the Armadillo Robe Legs. It's only like 50k, but I got that last casket. But, um... I kind of just got the reward when searching a chest. I didn't actually get a casket that I could physically open, so that's why I didn't record it. But um, if I do any more clue scrolls, I only do mediums and easies. I don't do hards because I hate the slider puzzles, but um, I will record any future caskets that I get. I can't believe I wasted that, but um, anyway. So I just finished my first ever clue scroll on this account. Um, it is a level 2, so I'm kind of hoping for beginner's luck. I had a bit of a fail with the clue scroll itself. Um, I had I had to look up on the web a bit how to do it, but it turns out it said, like, dance under Shanty's awning, and I see this here, which looks an awful lot like an awning, and I danced under it a lot, and nothing happened. But it turns out what I'm standing underneath is actually an awning, uh, which just looks like four spears stuck in the ground, but before they updated Shanty's pass, apparently this was an awning. Um, so anyway, let's open the casket, see what we get. Oh, and uh, ancient page and a whole bunch of junk. So I imagine this ancient page is probably not worth anything and won't even sell on the GE, but um, yeah, I guess we got something. 300k. I doubt that will sell, of course. Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkle Zunky, and um, I figured I would show off this task a little bit. I have the task of Killer Watts at the moment, and the reason why is because not everyone has even done this task, um, because not everyone decides to use Vanica as a Slayer Master to begin with. I decided to because um, when I first started doing Slayer on this account, he was the only Slayer Master that I could use. And I believe I can use the Fairy Slayer Master now, but I would just rather stick with Vanica at the moment because um, he doesn't assign any really annoying tasks like uh, Metal Dragons, which are extremely annoying at lower levels. Um, so I figured I will just stick with Vanica. Um, and I remember doing this task a long time ago before EOC, and I tried to look up a guide on YouTube, and there literally was not a single video on YouTube of these uh, ever made. So um, I just thought it's probably something not everyone has seen, since not everyone has ever even done this task. Um, before EOC, this was like one of the worst tasks you could possibly get, because these things were a very low level. They were like level 70, and yet they hit extremely high and extremely fast and extremely accurately. So I was killing them on, I believe I was like 70 defense at the time when I first started killing, or when I first ever went here to kill these things. About 70 defense or so, or maybe 60, but either way, I was wearing rune, you know, fairly decent defense, and I could kill like 10, and then I'd have to bank because they just hit so hard. You'd go through several lobsters per kill. So um, that has changed a bit before EOC. You know, you can come... I'll talk a little bit about the game being a little too easy, especially when it comes to Slayer. Some Slayer tasks were made easier, but this was definitely one of the, the better ones because um, before EOC, this task was just not worth doing. It was just terrible. Um, there is only one Slayer Master that even assigns this task, obviously, but uh, yeah. So I figured I'd just show this task a little bit, and I the, ro the drops here can be pretty decent. I think they drop some battle staves, and they drop um, a few other things that can be worth a few K. So I guess uh, as soon as the task is over, I will come back and like price check all the loot that I got from it. Uh, and that might be a little bit interesting. So I completed the Killer Watts task. I actually found out that this task is pretty good. They don't hit at all um, since after EOC, and they drop quite a few herbs as well. So I think I made a little bit of money off this task. We're just going to price check all of this really fast. Um, unfortunately, Raynars are going down a bit. Uh, I believe they were like 4k each a little while ago, and they're back down to 2.3k and dropping. But uh, I did make a good... Oh, forgot to price check the Emerald. Um, 78k off that task. That's not bad at all, considering it took like 15 minutes. Also, I can't stress enough just how amazing this Charm Collector is and how glad I am that I got it. It makes Trading Slayer much, much more relaxing. 
Okay, I got a pretty exciting clip for you guys today. So we're going to do Shop the Reward Trader. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a whole lot of tokens, but something pretty cool coming up. Just going to say, we spend that many, and look at this, 80 Dungeoneering. This is for all the people that think Dungeoneering is hard. Oh yeah, first 80 skill, and it's DG. Uh, I've been doing a lot of DG with the people in my friends chat today. Um, so thank you to everyone who has DG'd with me on this account because it wouldn't really have been possible if I was trying to solo it all, but I think that's a pretty big accomplishment. Obviously, um, I did spend some tokens on some stuff that I think I went over in the last video, but yeah, I bought the Charming Imp, I bought the uh, Bone Crusher, and I bought the Scroll of Life, which I all think are very worth it, especially because I'm nowhere near even being able to wield a Chaotic. So that's fine. Anyway, um, time to move on to something else besides DG, I guess. I think I'm going to take a break for a little while now. So for the moment on this account, my plan is just to runecraft a bit, I guess. While I'm on my main, I will be fishing. And since I am doing C2 fishing, I can't really pay much attention to this account. So I was thinking of woodcutting, but in all honesty, um, runecrafting is a skill I really don't enjoy. And if I'm doing this while on... While do, on while well, on my main account and doing a skill that I really do enjoy, uh, it might go by faster. So I just figured, you know, I've been runecrafting for so long, I've got kind of used to it from being in runespan, you know, why not continue? So anyway, that's going to be just about all for this video. I'll probably be runecrafting on this account, which means no updates possibly for a while, but I'll be making vlogs on my main account instead, which will be even more fun. So I hope you'll all be looking out for that. Thanks for watching, and farewell.